Okay, welcome to self-check self section 2.3 exercises. <clears throat> and we're going to be going over higher order derivatives. So we have this function f of x equals x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus 11x minus 1. And we want to find the first derivative, right? First, second, third, and fourth derivatives of this function. So we're taking multiple derivatives, but we're just gonna be using the power rule just over and over again. So the prime of X is just gonna be using power rule, just four X cubed plus six X squared minus 11 X to the negative two. Remember that this guy drops down, subtract one. So that makes it a negative 11 and then a negative x to the negative 2. So that's the first derivative. Now let's take the second derivative. So just we're going to take a derivative of the first derivative. So using power rule again. This will be 12x squared plus 12x plus, you know, I'll write out, I'll write out the negatives part. So this would be negative 11 times negative 2 x to the negative 3, right? Drop that down, subtract 1. So if we simplify this, it becomes 12x squared plus 12x plus 22x to the negative 3. All right, two negatives make a positive. So let's go ahead and find the third derivative now. So third, I'm going to take a derivative of our second derivative. So it becomes 24x plus 12 minus, I'll do this, plus 22 times negative three x to the negative four, right? The negative three drops down, we subtract one from it. So this becomes 24 x plus 12 minus 22 times negative three, right? Which is negative 66 x to the negative fourth. So that's our third derivative. So let's go ahead and find our last one, which is the fourth derivative. So f to the fourth derivative, right? You could also write, you know, f with four apostrophes, whichever one you prefer. Just a derivative of this guy. So this would just be 24, right? X drops, the 12 just goes away. It's just a constant. 24 and then minus 66 times negative 4 x to the negative 5. All right, this negative 4 drops down, we subtract 1. So this becomes 24 plus 66 times 4, positive 264 x to the negative 5. And that's our fourth derivative. Okay, so just taking derivatives over and over again, respectively. Okay, just how many you're asked. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. So three, find and interpret f prime of one, f double prime of one for f of x equals x squared plus five x minus four. So first thing we gotta do is find we're being asked about the first and second derivatives, so we got to find the first derivative and the second derivative. Okay, so f of x is x squared plus 5x minus 4, and the first derivative of that is just going to be 2x plus 5, using the power rule, and the second derivative is just going to be 2. All right, so the second step is to uh, find F, plugging in one into the derivative and plugging one into the second derivative. All right, so we have F prime of one, plugging it into this guy, right? 
So it'll just be two times one plus five, which is just seven. All right. And likewise, we have F, put some bullet points here. F double prime of one, plug it into this guy, but we can't really plug it in. Uh, there's no X value there. So the answer would just be two. Okay, so that takes care of these guys, but there's one more part here. It says interpret. So remember when we're talking about like increasing at an increasing rate, increasing at a decreasing rate, right? So here, you know, step three, is interpret. All right, so since, right, let me kind of, since F prime of one equals two, I'm sorry, equals seven, and F double prime of one equals two, then F prime of one is greater than zero, and F double prime of one is greater than zero. So this means the function F is increasing at an increasing rate at x equals one. So since our first derivative of one and our second derivative of one are both positive, it's increasing at an increasing rate at x equals one. So, okay, so that's interpreting our first and second derivatives. So we have another example like this, but now it's in terms of more, uh, more interpretation as opposed to generality. So for this one, suppose that the function, the cost function C of X represents the cost in dollars to manufacture for producing X decorative throw pillows, interpret the information provided by C prime of 4,500 equals 0 0.65 and C double prime of 4,500 is greater than zero. So uh, recall that, you know, we have both of these values are positive. So F prime is greater than zero and F double prime is greater than zero. So it's increasing at increasing rate. Okay, so, but what are each of these telling us though? So the first one is C prime of 4,500. What's this first derivative at 4,500 telling us? So this at equals 0.65 tells us that the cost to manufacture will increase by six down here by 65 cents when producing the next decorative throw pillow. after uh, 
4,500 produced. Okay, so that's what that first derivative is telling us. So likewise, right, the second derivative, that's greater than zero. So what's that telling us? So this tells us that the expected cost of producing additional pillows will increase more than 65 cents. So we're increasing at an increasing rate. So the expected cost to produce more will just be increasing more than 65 cents. So we'll keep costing more than 65 cents. That cost is increasing at an increasing rate. So that's interpreting this question, right? We have our first, second derivative, both positive. So it's increasing at an increasing rate. And it's just putting it in terms of context of the problem. Um, but that's it for the self-check 2.3. We'll see you next time. Thank you.